Viewers in this video we will understand how hard disk works. We know that hard disks are widely used in computers and other digital devices to store data. Let's understand its basics. Friends you know that when a wire is wrapped around an iron rod and current is passed through it, the system becomes a temporary magnet. It will remain a magnet as long as the electric current continues to flow. As soon as the electric current is switched off, its magnetic properties disappear. We have a few pieces of iron. If we take this coil to it, it will not catch these pieces. Now we attach it to a battery cell. And let's see if it's turned into a magnet now. Yes, now it is attracting the iron nails. It has turned into a magnet. Secondly, we have a permanent magnet. It attracts iron permanently. Let's hang this magnet freely on a hanger so that it can move freely. Let's face this permanent magnet with a temporary magnet. We put temporary magnet in front of it. Now let's put the battery cell and see what happens. See. We saw that the magnet immediately changed its direction. Now we change the direction of the battery cell to change the direction of the current. And see. Wow! The magnet changed direction again. Friends whenever we change the direction of current, the transient magnet also changes its magnet field's direction, forcing the independent magnet to change its direction. Since temporary magnets have the ability to change the magnetic field's direction, Scientists have taken advantage of this ability of the magnet and created memory. Let's get this magnet out of the hanger, and write one in one direction and zero in the other, so we can save a bit on it. You know that bit means zero or one, any one of them. We hang it on the hanger again. Now we can only save one amount to zero or one with the help of magnetic field. Let's take full advantage of this magnet's ability. We attach a lot of magnets freely to a disk. We've put 8 magnets on the disk. So we can save 8 bits on it. We draw a line on it so that we know where to start reading or writing the data. Take a motor system. So that it can rotate the disk. Attach this disk to the motor so that it can rotate. Now our disk has started rotating. But how will the data be read and write? For this purpose we have to put a head on it that is a coil. So that it can read and write data from this disk. Have a stand. This is our read write head. We attach it to the disk with the help of a stand so that it can write the data. All the bits take turns passing under the head. And our hard disk is ready to store data. But there is a problem. All bits are random. Some magnets are half and some are oblique. To bring them all in one direction, we need to format them. Let's format our disk with the help of magnetic field. As soon as we connect the wires, all the bits started coming into one direction. Every bit that comes in front of the magnet rotates to zero. Now we have a complete disk format. Let's save data on it. This is our one byte of data which contains 8 bits. We save this data on disk. Start from the disk's starting point. If the first bit is 1, then we move the current up in one direction. If there is zero on the next bit, then we give current in the opposite direction. The next bit is one. The next bit is also one. The next bit is zero. The next bit is one. The next bit is zero. 
The next bit is 1. We have saved all the data on our hard disk. But reading data from it is even more interesting. Let's understand how to read data from hard disk. This is a voltmeter we have. We connect it with the same coil head. We have a permanent magnet. Let's move this permanent magnet fast in front of this coil and see what happens. As we move the magnet in front of the coil, an electric current is generated which moves the needle of the voltmeter forward. Let's see the needle's movement in slow motion. As soon as the magnet moved in front of the coil, the needle of the voltmeter moved forward. Let's change the direction of the magnet and do the same experience. Viewers now see the direction in which the movement took place in slow motion. You see, as soon as the magnet passes in front of the coil, this time it moves backwards. This means that when the magnet changed its direction, the current also changed its direction. Taking advantage of magnet's property, data is read from the hard disk. When the needle moves forward it represents 1. When the needle moves backwards it represents 0. Let's connect this voltmeter to the head's wire and see what happens. Turn on the hard drive. You can see that the needle is constantly moving back and forth due to the magnets passing under it. If we speed up the disk, more current is generated as the magnet travels faster. The firmware on the hard disk understands the data coming from the head and provides it to the computer. In a hard disk magnets do not physically rotate to store data. Instead, a magnetic material is used, which is permanently magnetized by magnetic field. Just like if an iron is rubbed with a magnet, it also becomes a magnet. Similarly, when the head magnetizes the hard disk with the help of its magnetic field, it saves the data forever. We hope you understand how a hard disk works. Please like our video if you think it helpful. Subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this. Thanks for watching.